My name is John, and I'm from Wing Gap, Pennsylvania. And we are aware that Tula Gulan, we know what kind of organization he's running. He's an actor. He's a make-believe imam. This is what you call a man that tells, he manipulates the people. That means if I or anyone else that works for Fethullah Gulan got to give a kickback, that means if you make $100,000, you give $40,000 back to Fethullah Gulan. It's like the mafia. But no, no, our government lets us do this. I mean, if I did this or any American citizen would open up a business and say, hey, listen, you work for me, I want a 40% uh, kickback back to me. Hey, this is insane. So you saw Fethullah Gulan on CBS last night on 60 Minutes. You saw that. He brainwashes the people. He wants to manipulate the American people to show that he's a good man. So listen, I want to tell all Americans, you want to work for Fethullah Gulan? That's fine. But I, he's, he's going to want 40% of your uh, salary kicked back to him. You think that's right? That means you got to go to the bank, get $40,000 out of the bank, and give it, take it back to his camp in Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, let's talk, you want to talk about more? Okay, let's talk about this. Say for an example, you're sick or you have a heart attack. That means the ambulance pulls up to his camp. They don't even allow it into the camp. That means they have to go, uh, the body has to come out to the gate. The ambulance pulls up and then takes the body. You know why? Because the ambulance has documentation to prove that he has guns on the premises, AK-47s and other weapons that are located in his camp. Is that fair? Is that right? That means when people come to our house or anybody else's house, they're, the ambulance is allowed to come in. But here, they won't go in because they carry weapons on their, on their bodies. Uh, there's so much stuff to talk about. Let's talk about the coup. Remember July 15th, 2016, when the coup took place in the country of Turkey? Do you remember that? This is when uh, Fethullah Gulan was involved. Now, did he have the CIA, the CIA helping from the United States? That's not for me to investigate. All I know is I saw a lot of activity going in inside and outside of the camp. In, out, in, out. Why was there so much activity three weeks prior or four weeks prior of the coup? Well, he could say, oh, well, Ramadan was June the 25th. That's why we had so much activity. That's fine. But why would you meet down at Dunkin' Donuts, have uh, ten uh, of his people on laptops? These are not laptops that you buy. These are all high in intense uh, tablets or laptops where a lot of things go on. Keep in mind, these people don't work. You Americans have to work. And a lot of other people have to work in other countries. These people don't work. All they do is stay in their house. They leave. They go up to the compound, maybe 5, 6 o'clock. Okay, say you pray 20 minutes. Well, what are they doing for the, the other 3, 4 hours? That's the big mystery. The mystery is what is going on in this camp that the American people believe he's a good man. You can't, I'm telling, I'm telling, this is the, directly to the American people. Do not believe what he says. He is what you call an actor. He's an actor that belongs on TV, not with the public, or not brainwashing people uh, or young children to go by his religion. He doesn't go by the Quran. He goes by his cult religion. This must stop. And I'm asking Donald Trump, once you take office, you must extradite this man back. You saw what happened in Turkey, and it's going to happen in other countries. He pays people off, pays politicians off, he pays contractors off, he pays off whoever he can through cash, uh, food, trips to Turkey or, or uh, Egypt, jewelry. Or whatever he could get, his, he has so much money, he could do whatever he wants. Uh, also keep in mind, Thanksgiving is coming up this week, which is Thursday, and he invites all the neighbors to go to the camp for Thanksgiving. They all get an invitation, either by the computer or by mail, and the people go over and he gives them food. What he does is he gets them on their side. 
So when the news media comes, everybody's scared to get interviewed because he, he'll get you through retaliation. Like uh, they come at night, they videotape your house on Mount Eaton Road or other parts of Salisbury or Wing Gap, whatever you want to call it. They have cameras on their sun visors. Uh, and they also, they came after me already because I take pictures of them because I caught on to their act. You know, sometimes uh, you have to connect the dots. And these people are, they're not your friends. They play it out to be your friend. Ask me a one, here's a question for you. Why do they need to go to all our churches and sit in the back or stand in the back and watch our mass? You saw what happened in France when they cut the, uh, the priest's throat. He got down on his knee, knees and they cut his throat. Do you want this to happen in the United States or other countries? I'm not saying he's involved, but I don't understand why he has to send his people to our churches or to other churches throughout the country and watch how the Mass is going on. That's odd. So, you saw what happened on 60 Minutes. They show you like he's a good man. He is not a good man, I promise you. You have to investigate, connect the dots. It's like putting a puzzle together. You put all the pieces together and then you find out who is real and who is not real. So I'm asking all Americans, do not believe what he has to say. He's only an actor. He's not the real deal. There is so much evidence against this man. But see, when you pay off politicians, here's the situation. Back in 2003, there were 10 congressmen that went to Turkey. It was, he was, they were paid by Fethullah Gulen's Turkish Alliance Group that paid these people to go over to Turkey. What were they doing there? You could see myself. I, I interviewed Charlie Dent. He's a politician out of the state of Pennsylvania. You could see when he was drinking the, he was drinking the water, he, he got choked up a little bit, got nervous. This is, was on C-SPAN, Washington Journal. I was on there. I told the truth. And when, you, when people get nervous, they choke up. This is exactly what's happening in our country. He pays everybody off, and this must stop. So, once again, Donald Trump, when you take office, you must extradite this man or our country will be upside down in the years ahead against Fethullah Gulen and his people. These people will do anything they sa he says because they're manipulated through the brain through a cult situation. Thank you and have a good day.